So I'm here uh, to present on the cultivation of uh, traditional rice land races for human health and food security. Basically, I'm an agronomist uh, working at the field level. And I take this as a uh, platform or an opportunity wherein a uh, lot of uh, uh, biodiversity that is present in the rice is not being taken up to the lab level uh, in uh, rice land races. So far, as you know, that uh, rice is the staple food for almost 2 billion peoples of the world. And uh, among rice, the product, we always aim at increasing the productivity of rice. And this increase in productivity has aimed and got through the introduction of high yielding varieties. And where in India, which was uh, in demand, rice demand during 1950s, has now come over to rice surplus in 2023. So this is the scenario with the uh, high yielding rice varieties which, by which we were able to increase the production. But when it comes to the traditional ra uh, rice land races, there is lacuna not only in the area coverage, but also the exploitation of this traditional rice land races for human health. So to mean my abstract of my uh, presentation, I aim at uh, utilization of these uh, rice land races, which is not only found in Tamil Nadu, which is my state, but also the other states in India. But this cultivation of these land races has been uh, uh, only to the localized areas or small pockets. And when you look at the statistics of rice cultivate, cultivable area, nowhere you find a separate uh, 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 division wherein land races has been cultivated. The area, when you go for the total area coverage or the productivity, it all along goes with the other uh, rice varieties that is being grown. And, and uh, coming to the land races, it's very unique. Each land race is unique uh, to its location. And you find a lot of uh, materials uh, hidden in it, which has to be exploited with a lot of biotechnological tools in future. So can you, when you look at the different land races present, here is a picture which gives uh, uh, the most uh, uh, probable land race that is found in uh, Tamil Nadu, like uh, Kaiviral Samba, Mapale Samba, Kichili Samba, Karupu Kauni, Kuli Adichan, Katuyanam, Padakan, and Siraga Samba. When you look at these uh, land races, you can figure out that there is some variation in the colorations. And this coloration is due to the anthocyanin content and uh, the medical properties or the health benefits that is obtained uh, by these land races is through the many flavonoids and polyphenols that is present. So uh, since I am a field worker, I, uh, I don't go in detail about the laboratory studies, but at the field level, uh, what are the varieties or the rice that helps in uh, securing our human health and also food security? When you look at the uh, text, that is Siddha text, uh, it's a Bible. In Tamil, we call it as Siddha Maruthuva Togai Agaradi which is nothing but a herbal medicinal dictionary, which uh, depicts nearly 30 varieties of land races that is being utilized in Siddha me uh, medicine in one way or the other. So the very uh, traditional varieties that is being used in Siddha text are Anai Komban, Kadambu, Kalinga Samba, Kar, Kalundai, Katralai, Kuruvai, Madangan, Madikadai, Manavarai, Milagu Samba, Mosanam Narayan, Navarai, Neela Samba, Neer Vellai, Otadam, Pisanam, Pisini, Kombalai, Kadai Kalatan, Siru Mugayan, Kesara Kovai, Katayanayan, Chamban, Tillai, Tiruangam, Tuya Malli, uh, Vari Chamba, Vadini Chamba, and Vellai Milagu. So these are found in the Siddha text where they use it uh, in the form of powder or uh, uh, decorated solutions or ORP and which is given to the patients as uh, medicines. 
when you look at the siddha text it is nothing but uh, in siddha they talk about uh, vata kapha uh, uh, these three combinations help in uh, combating the diseases that is found in human being and there are certain uh, rice varieties among the traditional uh, rice growers and the traditional practices where i have uh, collected this material so i thought that this uh, rice varieties has to be exploited in future because they have so many properties but when you look at the rice land races at the global level the importance given to navara and uh, uh, this um, kauni variety uh, is not given to the other land races maybe it is due to the area coverage is less and uh, my point of presentation today to the biotechnological group is that these varieties also has to be exploited for their properties and for their characteristics using biotechnology as a tool and one of the variety is a uh, uh, annam alagi which is very tasty to eat and it wards off many diseases and regulated the deranged pitta in us irukku samba is a uh, good and uh, very tasty and it is good for offering to prayers and it is fed to the nobles in indian uh, condition and uh, in tamil nadu state karunguruvai is a dark variety of paddy maturing in just 3 months that is the duration of the paddy is 90 days only and this rice is able to ward off skin diseases urinary tract diseases poisonous stings and bites and promotes health which is uh, almost uh, used by the tribal people in tamil nadu next is uh, kallundai samba this is a pari variety which has a long duration of 200 days that is uh, the duration of the crop is between 6 to 7 months where intake of this uh, rice gives good muscle strength like a boxer and it enhances the stamina and physical endurance and the taste of the rice is also very nice next is kadai samba and this uh, rice, uh, land race provides strength to the body and uh, makes they say that uh, when you consume this variety all the disease fly away like uh, quill because it's so quick in reaction particularly the urinary tract infections burning menstruations and sensation comes to a stop with the consumption of this variety then the other variety is called as kalan samba as the name suggests kalan means it is the duration of the crop and this uh, traditional rice when taken up at the proper time it aids in digestion of the previous meal and it also provides enormous strength and also wards off diseases caused by the formation of vata the next uh, traditional rice is kichli samba and if this is properly cooked and the variety con consumed it not only improves the physical strength but also enables weight gain and also improves the complexion and this uh, kichli samba variety has pale till orange uh, yellow color and has a pleasant aroma and uh, the next variety is gundu samba this uh, uh, traditional rice aids in indigestion skin diseases uh, but it controls thirst in uh, general in siddha medicine it is being used to control pitta then comes uh, the uh, kudai samba and uh, it spreads eczema but it causes indigestion but the same time it's able to control thirst so in arid the conditions where the climate is hot consumption of this variety is able to safeguard the thirst among the farmers and the grain size is very stout next is uh, kurin samba the food with this variety increases pitta uh, but uh, uh, able to control the deranged vata and it enhances the libido activity in human beings this is a late flowering variety with short grains then the next variety is kaivari samba it provides good strength and nourishes the body and uh, as the name suggests you find the uh, finger like structures with linear marks placed on the grains next is kodai samba and this kodai samba uh, 
uh, it provides a cooling effect on your body and also controls pitta. This uh, uh, traditional rice is able to cure urinary tract diseases and it controls pruritis, that is the itching sensation that is being caused due to hot climate. And the straw of this traditional rice is as hard as that of a nut grass. Next is uh, Sita Boham. And the Sita Boham, as the name suggests, it is after Sita. In North India, this is a variety coming from North India. And it provides strength, complexion, and improves uh, spermatogenesis. And it wards off indigestion when it is being consumed. And next is the Sirga Samba. And this Sirga Samba has a, played a vital role in the culinary aspects of uh, rice. So in the Northern Belt of uh, India, when you consume this biryani, it is made up of uh, uh, basmati rice. And in the Southern India, when you consume biryani, it is made up of this sirga samba. And this uh, rice is exclusively used for uh, making palau and uh, biryani, which is very delicacy in Indian cuisine. And uh, this uh, variety is very tasty to eat and it regulates excess water, it's easy to digest, and it controls fatty lungs. And the grain resembles cumin seeds, hence the name Sirga Samba. Next is Chen Samba. It controls excessive appetite, cues, itching, pyoderma, and wounds. And this red rice is preferred and is usually uh, used during festival seasons. Next is Puguru Samba. This uh, land race is preferred by the farmers because it is able to quench the thirst and hunger and strengthen the body. It removes fatigue and provides a pleasant feel. And this uh, variety has the aroma of uh, kaivet, a, a very aroma uh, which, uh, by, which you can a, be a, by which you can consume a lot of uh, rice. That is the quantity that you consume rice will be more when compared to the normal consumption. And the next variety is Mani Samba. As the Mani uh, name indicates, uh, the seed looks like a round in shape and resembles beet. Hence the name Mani Samba. And it is an ideal food for diabetic patients, growing children, as well as elders. And it is very, very easy to digest. And you are able to digest within one hour of your consumption. Then ma Manakat Kadai, this is uh, uh, a traditional rice which controls skin diseases, helps in poison bites, heals ulcers. And if one takes it uh, regularly, uh, it is able to heal the ulceric, that is stomach ulcers or intestine ulcers. And uh, this rice, when cooked and consumed, gives the order of pleasant smelling wood. Next is uh, Malligai Samba. And uh, this is equivalent to our Thailand uh, jasmine rice, where the taste of this traditional rice is very good. It is good for nourishment, strength and growth. It prevents uh, dermatitis and burning sensation of the eye subsidizes uh, when you use this uh, rice in your food. And the rice is of pure white in color, just like jasmine. And it has a pleasant aroma also while you consume it. Next is uh, Milagu Samba. Milagu Samba is very tasty to heat. And uh, it also reduces the burning sensation of the eyes. And... Uh, uh, it gives you a pleasant feel and it wards off many diseases. And this Milagu name refers to black pepper because the seeds of this variety resembles black pepper and it is round in uh, shape. Next is Mai Samba. This uh, traditional rice variety is able to derange the vata and pitta effect in our body. It cures fever, vomiting, indigested toxins, and it's able to remove anoxia. The, this rice is dark black in color and the name given because it resembles the color of the eyeliner of your eyes. The next uh, uh, traditional variety that I like to speak is about the Gundumani Samba and uh, it's able to regulate the deranged Vata Pitta of our body and it's able to elevate a lot of diseases in our body. The next is uh, Walaital Samba. It causes vata and pitta derangement and dissension of abdomen due to flatulence. Uh, when you get upset with digestion, uh, it, uh, it causes skin eruption when you uh, consume it. And mostly 
it's very dangerous to consume this uh, uh, this type of traditional rice unless you know it but it can be used as a medicine when you come for this wall on arisi it suppresses the anorexia and uh, the loss of taste uh, when there is loss of taste and they say that uh, uh, during this um, uh, covid time when we had a loss of uh, taste uh, with our tongue after this uh, consumption of this rice we were able to get back our uh, uh, taste so when you look at uh, those uh, so many properties that are, that is being hidden with these uh, rice land races and uh, when you look at the cultivation of land races in tamil nadu i have collected almost 150 land races which is actually in cultivation uh, uh, in tamil nadu and in it is among the farmers and the tribal people when you look at the cultivation of land races it is almost confined to hilly areas upper hilly areas and the tribal tract and uh, because it is 150 you can refer to my uh, slides if you want in detail about the uh, uh, land races that is in cultivation in tamil nadu so with this uh, uh, i like to uh, conclude and bring a point since i am again i stress that i am a field worker these varieties is being hidden at the farmers uh, field level and uh, this has to be brought out and uh, the area of uh, cultivation has to be increased in its acreage and the characteristics and uh, the biomolecules present in those land races has to be uh, characterized and uh, uh, coming to the farmers point of view they grow this uh, uh, traditional ra land races but they don't have any market value for that so when they put it to the market uh, for uh, price it's being sold equivalent to the other prices that is uh, price fixed by a a msp or at the government level so there is no separate market price that is fixed for this traditional rice except for few rice varieties like navara and kauni they because uh, it goes uh, for export purpose and there the price fetches even 400 rupees per kg of navara rice and kauni rice but this is not given to the other type of uh, traditional rice varieties and i like to bring this to at this forum to say that market price has also to be fixed for those traditional rice varieties so that the buyers consumers and the growers are also benefited by this thank you